One Piece Chapter 813 Review. And I know this review is a day late, possibly two days, depending on when the upload is done. But, One Piece Chapter 813 was a very, very good chapter. Well, as always, I'll be talking about the things I enjoyed the most and the most crucial parts of the chapter. Now, the big thing is, we really got everything we needed out of this chapter. And what I mean by that is, is that it wasn't like a crazy chapter to like advance the story. But this chapter put us in a spot where all we need, all we need is like one more chapter of flashback. And like conversation between all the crew members. And then we can decide our next move. We know what's going on with Sanji. Sanji left the note. We know where, like, why he left. We know where he's going. We know we could end up with something going on with Big Mom. Like this was a really good chapter. And it brought us to a point. Where we're close to the point where we're done. We're done with the recapping pretty much. And it just. So much hype, but there were a couple things in this chapter that I didn't necessarily not like, but I didn't really understand. I did not understand the whole thing about Nisanji Mary Pudding. They become Lu Big Mom's underlings. Now, if Luffy was the one marrying Pudding, I would maybe understand. The Straw Hat crew is less known. They're, they're, they're not as powerful as Big, Mom, the Big Mom's crew. Therefore, the ca the captain of the crew that married the other crew would become their subordinate. That makes sense. But Sanji's not the captain. Like, what does Sanji marrying Pudding have to do with Luffy? Like, how did that make Luffy... Like, the ca isn't the captain the only one that can do that? Like, shouldn't they be? Like, that's kind of stupid, the way that's written, in my opinion. I thought that was a really stupid concept. Sanji married Pudding. Pudding, a member of the Big Mom Pirate? But, okay, okay, that, 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 that's worth as much as Luffy accepting an alliance? Or accepting and, like, condition, agreeing to be her subordinate? That's stupid. But, Sanji word is worthless. Sanji just because, I'm sorry, he word is worthless. In terms of, like, the Straw Hat Pirates, he word is worthless to anybody. At least it should be. But, I don't know, it, it, it's stupid, alright? But besides for that, I really enjoyed the chapter. I loved the, some of the comedy. There was, I mean, there was very... There wasn't a lot of it, but there were a couple moments when I just with Sanji being Sanji. Like, um... I like, I actually like the Manga Panda translation more. The you know, Manga Panda, it said, Hey, bastards. I, I'll, I'll, I have to go see this chick real quick. I'll be back soon. Bye. Well, I love that. It, it, it seems like something Sanji would say. I just don't think Sanji being, being like, Hey, bud. Like, I don't think Sanji writing that. Just the result fact that Zoro going to read it. Like, I do not... I do have to realize, the only person that Sanji is considering, like... When it comes to their feelings, when he writes that letter, it's Robin. Something could, could care less. Uh, honest, like, he makes Usopp cry. I mean, you know. I mean, he cares. He's honestly considering Luffy, above all else. But is there like, one thing I love the most about this chapter? And I mean, I love this. Because I love the moment where, where he goes over and gets in and puts the... And he just puts... You know, put a letter in Nami's dress, and he looks at her and says, "I has nothing to handle." And Nami's like, "We," and he's like, "I." I love that because it just it's such a moment of Sanji being like, "I know what the three of you are, what, what you three are thinking," and no, that's not happening. I love that. It's so well thought out having Sanji pretty much tell Nami, "You, you guys aren't getting involved in this. You're not." This is my business. And I loved it. And another thing I loved was how the, they had a. The new guy with a gun, that guy with a big hand, you know, that, that freak. I, 
I I can't remember the name at the moment, but I loved how he when he whispered something into Sanji's ear. Oh, I love that so much. Like when he whispered something into his ear, when it, and Sanji's just face was just like, how the hell did you know about that? I love that. The, it, it building up the tension with this thing with Sanji and it's done beautifully. So there isn't honestly anything I can say about this chapter. Now, as a fan, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but as a reviewer, I have to give it like a 9 out of 10. So this show so fast that this whole Sanji thing has been so hyped up. You know. Starting to seem a little drawn out. But guys, um, yeah, I know this wasn't my best review, but honestly, I, I, I had a lot of trouble gathering my thoughts on this chapter. I mean, I don't think one of those chapters that I feel like I'll be able to form a better opinion on later. I really do. I feel like later on, I'll be able to form a much better opinion on the chapter. But guys, I hope you enjoyed your review. Please tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. It really helps out. And guys, this is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day.